Ultrasonic impact treatment UIT is a new well treatment method that enhances and increases the fatigue strength of the treated parts. It is useful for R&Ds, welding shops, MSMEs, automotive and locomotive industries, etc. Let's know all about it from Dr. Shankar. We had come across a specific problem like uh, whenever welding is done, it could be any type of welding, residual stresses would be set up inside the object, inside the piece, inside the material. That is a weakening point. So that should be relieved. There are many ways by which the residual stresses can be relieved. So we had come out with a unique idea of relieving the residual stresses through an automated mechanism. So we wanted to bring in a new technology, an innovative technology wherein we wanted to impart an ultrasonic impact on the material such a way that the residual stresses would get relieved substantially without damaging the material, without altering the characteristics of the material itself. Of course, there are various uh, methods by which the stresses could be relieved. One is uh, mechanical uh, peening, even heat treatment process are there. But that has an impact on the characteristics of the material also. Whereas in our technology, we impart uh, a small uh, uh, repeated cyclic load on the uh, specimen or on the material such a way that the residual stresses would get relieved gradually without altering the basic characteristics of the material itself, the properties of the material itself as well as it, the strength of the material also would not get altered and the material also would not get damaged. We achieved in such a way that see the technology what we are using is imparting an ultrasonic vibration over the material. We have made the sonotrode or the probe to vibrate on the uh, material which is induced with residual stresses with very high frequency about 30,000 uh, hertz frequency or 30 kilohertz frequency and at very low amplitude. The amplitude would range between 30 to 40 microns. The frequency and the amplitude can be varied depending upon our requirement. So when we impart the ultrasonic vibration with a low amplitude on the specimen, each and every downward stroke on the specimen or on the material would impart an impact load, a fatigue load on the specimen such a way that slowly the residual stresses induced in the material would get relieved. Now this happens gradually and also we have checked, we have ensured that the basic characteristics or the properties of the material do not get altered and the material also do not get damaged. There is no crack formation or crack propagation taking place on the material. So the stress could be relieved at least by uh, 30 to 40 percent. We have tested the stress relieving in a laboratory and uh, uh, the project was highly successful. This is how we just solved the problem. Actually this is a funded project. Uh, it was funded by DSIR, Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. When we submitted a proposal to DSR mentioning our problem statement and uh, since it is an innovative uh, idea, innovative technology, so immediately uh, the funding was sanctioned to us to come out with a prototype. And uh, they had sanctioned the fund. Initially, uh, we were given a seed fund of 1.9 lakh rupees from the management. We got the seed fund to start the operation. Then further uh, fabrication was everything we were taken care of by DSR funding. So we were able to achieve design, uh, have a design with a unique thing and as well as we were able to fabricate the machine by ourselves by ourselves such a way that when we tested its efficiency on the material, later on after the impact test was done, we took the samples to the laboratory where we tested for its residual strength before impact and after impact, what is the effect. So the difference we could uh, see uh, from the results that we were able to reduce the residual stresses by 40% effectively and efficiently without altering the property of the material as well as without uh, getting the strength reduced. 
So, the basic material strength has been retained, the properties of material have been retained, no damage has happened on the material, but the stress, residual stresses which is to be relieved got relieved by 40 percent and that too it takes only 9 to 10 seconds for us to operate within that we are able to relieve the stresses to the required level. That is the solution we got and we got it tested by the laboratory and we found that yes it is highly efficient. Uh, actually uh, we have developed a prototype and the prototype is ready and it is in uh, working condition and now we are able to get consultancy service. We are also taken up a consultancy using this machine. So, we got samples from one of the colleges from Andhra and they got the project sanctioned from ERCI, Advanced Research Center for Powder Metallurgy and New Materials, Hyderabad, it is a central government organization. That uh, sample testing was uh, forwarded to us. So, we just want to have an impact test done on the samples such a way that that samples after testing it is sent, it will be sent back to the company or uh, that, that the particular college who had given the job to us and that will be further uh, explored about to what level the stress are relieved, uh, to what level the strengthening of the material takes place. So, this is the consensus work uh, we are just, uh, we, are, we have taken up right one, uh, right now we have taken that and also uh, we are planning to commercialize the product also and that would the product would be customized. Actually, we have backed an order from one of the uh, welding shop in our local area. They wanted us to fabricate a, a ultrasonic impact testing machine, which should be taken to different spots and then uh, stresses have to be released. Actually, the machine what we have is mounted on the table. So, we have to take the sample to the machine and get the stress relief. This is only prototype. But the technology what we are using is, we will be able to take the gun that is that we call it as a sonotrode or the uh, gun, wherein the, vibra the ultrasonic vibration will be uh, taking place. That vibration will be imparted to the specimen at different points. So, that means we can take the vibrating part on to the uh, material itself to the place and the stress could be relieved. So, wherever we want the stress to be relieved to that area, to that portion, the sonotron can be taken and that material will be subjected to ultrasonic treatment such a way that the stress could be relieved effectively and efficiently. Actually, we had given a demonstration in one place where we invited few industries to have a look at our product. And this kind of uh, facility um, is required uh, in all industries where welding operation is predominant because that is one area where uh, residual stresses would get set up in the uh, material, uh, material just like that. So, it has to be relieved. When the material is subjected to an application, when the residual stresses are set up inside, that already the strength is reduced. So, that uh, would subject to any breakage or failure. So, the stress have to be relieved. So, most of the welding industry require this kind of setup such a way that effectively we will be able to relieve the residual stresses. In fact, uh, we had contacted uh, SIPCOT from uh, in Hosur, where there are a lot of mechanical industries. Uh, they were interested when we showed the demonstration to them. Probably we may get orders from them, all, them also. Right now, we have bagged an order from one of the major welding uh, uh, company. It's a startup company doing welding operation for different uh, uh, for companies. Actually, the welding operation has been outsourced to them and they want us to develop a machine, uh, develop a technology such a way that after welding, if any residual stresses are set up inside the object, that should be relieved effectively without causing any damage to the material. So, we are in the process of developing a customized model, okay, to catering to the, their needs. So, first order we have already backed. We are in the process of enhancing our marketing also in the days to come. So, we are in touch with many industries. The kind of industries what uh, where this could be utilized is most of the mechanical industries which uses welding operation. That is one thing. There are places where uh, sometimes cold working is required. Whenever a metal is there, when you just try to uh, 
uh, try to apply an uh, impact force, impact load on the material, okay, that gets compressed and the strength could be increased. So that is a cold working process. So we can also use this technology for strengthening the material also. So wherever uh, in mechanical industries where they use materials wherein they need some process to strengthen the material, this process also can be used. This process can be used to strengthen the material. This process can be used for relieving the residual stresses. This process can be used for welding operation also. Because ultrasonic uh, welding is one of the concept where joining of material takes place by ultrasonic means. So these are the places where this concept can be utilized. So we are in the process of identifying our marketing team as uh, vigorously trying to get some more orders to use this technology. So we are in the process of uh, expanding our commercialization on this product.